It's Monday and it's 3 p.m. And I didn't sleep well because usually my mom takes my baby in the morning and then I can sleep. And yesterday I was working all day, all night as well. And I drank a lot of coffee to stay awake for work. And that led from, to me like going to bed really late and not sleeping when the baby is sleeping. And basically my mom, yeah, like she didn't. She, when she woke up she didn't take Maya and I didn't sleep till so I feel really bad and basically I feel like shit like I don't feel good at all like I hate it when I can't sleep it's the worst thing like <laughs> she's so cute she's smiling at me <laughs> she's the cutest um i just want to do something today but i don't know what because my dad is here and he doesn't really let me film like he has a problem with me filming and just you know he's very narcissistic and he's, he always complains about me so i don't know what to, what i should film today but i'm just gonna maybe like organize my room because i'm to organize it it's like a big mess and i don't know what else i want to take care of myself because look at my i look i'm in a state i look like shit because two days i was working a lot but on the weekends i work a lot <sighs> and it's so hard that's the difficult part about being a mother and not only like a single mother just a mother in general is that you don't have time for yourself at all and yeah i wanted to go to mcdonald's but i don't know how i want to grab something and then come home and and like do like a eat with me video but i don't know if that's going to be possible and if that's feasible or not but we'll see and yeah i also wanted to quickly talk about pregnancy and you know how a woman go into pregnancy and wanting to have a baby completely unaware of or like they don't want to know <laughs> <laughs> Pregnancy is quite difficult, especially the first trimester and the second trimester. They're quite difficult, both physically, emotionally. Um, but giving after giving birth, the postpartum period, that's the worst period ever. Like straight after giving birth, I felt a sense of euphoria and achievement, happiness, but in two days well straight after like in a few hours i started to feel depressed and in a few days i had like severe depression where i would cry and wake up crying and that's all to do with hormones and you know your hormones just a hurricane of hormones there's a lot of hormones involved in give when you give birth you know so it was a very difficult period and as well I had to wake up I didn't know I had to wake up <laughs> my pregnancy was something that I didn't research about or it wasn't unexpected I didn't know I was pregnant until I was like 26 weeks pregnant <laughs> so I didn't know I was pregnant and my pregnancy was just, it was tough. Like, 
the postpartum period was the hardest period for me to wake up every three hours not being able to sleep being all alone not having anyone to help me like giving birth alone like no support group that was really hard and i just want everyone to know that like going through pregnancy and having a child is like one of the most challenging parts that a woman has to face in her life and then feeling like you're not yourself anymore feeling like you're not yourself anymore and that you lost the person that you were and you feel nostalgic about who you were before but also the feeling that you want to be with your child and you know you don't want to be away from your child and it's just a you know very conflicting feeling um so yeah I just want to go with like you know make sure to have a strong support system make sure to have income you know think about all these things when being pregnant and think about the postpartum period and think about most likely you're going to be very depressed and just confused so yeah just wanted to tell you girls about it pregnancy is difficult but the a period after is even more difficult and that's just life. Life is difficult overall. My tip is just don't do anything stupid. Even if you have hormonal imbalance, make sure to always use protection. If you don't have a stable partner or stable income, or you know, you you know, don't make it make sure to plan your pregnancy, at least have stable income. Um, it's very important. Ah uh, yeah. That's what I wanted to say and we'll see how the day goes and what the day has to offer. I just came back right now from, we went like, we went, I went with my parents and they bought some groceries uh, but I just sat in the car with my daughter and we'll see what the day has to offer for us but I don't know what I'll do. I definitely need to buy coke and maybe like go to mcdonald's but i don't know i really want to eat something you know not that my parents need to cook for me or anything i'm a grown up woman they don't need to buy groceries for me but yeah they don't really get and buy me anything too and my mom is busy with making food for my dad exclusively for him because he's a vegetarian and she just makes food for him and cooks for herself so no one makes anything for me and they don't also if i start cooking they don't like my food they don't eat it so you know mm -hmm. the only thing that i'm happy with is living with, with my parents i feel like sometimes they want to take my like they want to they want my daughter for themselves and like they want to make her believe or make me believe that I, I, she's not my daughter which is really crazy and they want to even told me that they want to they want me to like give away my like what is it called like the rights of my daughter and give it to them you know and it's just crazy like i don't as soon i need to get out of here and make money as soon as possible I can make more money so I can pay rent and live somewhere away with her. I love my parents, like don't get me wrong, I love them. Like they've helped me so much and I'm so happy and grateful. Every day I wake up, I'm like, I live in such a nice place. I'm so, so, so grateful, but it's just not healthy, like for them and for me, you know, in order to accept her and to buy her things, like they want her, like, 
they they are claiming her too much, which I don't like. Because ultimately I'm the mother. Okay, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Uh, 